This is a serious beatdown. You guys with another build video on the division this build video is going to be on classified striker and the things you can do with classified striker is just amazing man anyways guys look at this build video i'm gonna put up on screen right now okay guys so first we're running 6.5 firearms and 6.6 .6 stamina this is for skirmish by the way because all your stats get deplenished well not deplenished but they all get neutralized so that's the reason we're running 6.5 and 6.6 .6. Okay guys, so the first assault rifle we're going to be using is the Lightweight M4. And as you guys can see, the gear score is 283. Damage is 20.3k. We're running responsive, brutal, and unforgiving. On this build, we're expecting a lot into headshot damage. Because while you're getting 100% stacks with Striker, you can also be doing a lot more damage if you put on headshot damage mods. Because obviously headshot is just a multiplier anyways. As you guys can see, here we go. I got the 17 point zero percent on headshot damage 18 percent right there and then obviously the large underbarrel is a small grip with critical hit damage and our secondary gun we're using is also a lightweight m4 we're running responsive sustained predatory on this um backup gun i really don't care what you guys run on this i i just run basic stuff to put out enough damage i'm not worried about headshot on this one because i'm basically using this one when i down an enemy I want to be able to get sustained and predatory back so I can keep myself healing. And the set and the pro, uh sorry. And the sidearm really doesn't matter. Right here we're running the 290 gear score striker harness. As you guys can see, I wish I had better major attribute rolls. Those are like probably the worst ones you can have. This build could be a lot better. But you can see I'm rolled into firearms with stamina mods. 
almost or max minor attribute. I'm going to scroll down here. As you guys can see, we're using 2.5% exotic damage resilience on all or most of the prototype mods because we want to get some kind of fire arms on them. As you guys can see, this is the Striker's Mask 289 gear score, 1401, perfect rolled on firearms, enemy armor damage, damage to elites. As you guys can see right here, we're using Stamina Mod with critical hit chance. That's just to give us a little bit more critical hit chance. Obviously, the more damage you can put out, the better your build's going to be. Okay, so we're running the Striker Knee Pads right here. Major Attribute, 15,000. 0.948 health minor attributes aren't that good we're running 55% increased ex kill XP 29% blind death resistance 30% disorient resistance see that's really not that good that's actually pretty trash okay guys but that does not make the build bad we're going into the strikers harness right here as you guys can see we almost have max roll on every slot and we chose major attribute to be 14.0 Sorry about that. 4% critical hit chance. And we're running a pulse damage mod. Critical hit pulse damage mods on everything we're using, by the way. Now to get into the striker's gloves, we're running max rolls on stamina. And we're running... These are actually probably the best thing on this build. I really do enjoy these right here. Because as you guys can see, we have 17% critical hit damage, 12% assault rifle damage, and 6.0% critical hit chance and i am a assault rifle person i love the lightweight m4 i do prefer over the house i do have a good house a decent house but i don't like to use it that much i'd rather use striker with the assault rifle because it packs um a little bit more punch instead of i don't know guys i just don't really like the house okay guys so now to get into the backpack as you guys can see we're running the striker's backpack obviously because that's how you get it classified and we almost have max rolls on the striker on the firearms on this build, our major attribute is 13.339 health. Our minor attribute is max ammo capacity. It came like that, and I really do appreciate the RNG gods for that. Okay, guys, so we're going to scroll down here right here. As you guys can see, we're running a stamina critical hit chance prototype mod. And like I said, guys, we're going to be doing pulse critical hit damage on all the... All the prototype performance mods because just to give the build a little bit more punch we wanted to pack a little bit harder than any other striker built as you guys can see i am just running 6k stamina that does help out i could be running 9k but there's no reason to run 9k if you're playing skirmish okay guys now we're gonna go over to the character sheet as you guys can see our critical hit up oh, sorry about that that's not true okay so now to go to our character sheet Oh, I guess it is you. Our critical hit chance is 19.0%. Critical hit damage is 69%. And headshot damage is 122%. This helps out a lot, guys, as you guys seen in the video before this. This build does hit really hard on headshots and body shots, but you should be aiming at the head the majority of the times because Striker is really good on stability. So if you have stability on this build, it's just going to help you out a lot. This 5% health on kill doesn't mean anything. I don't know why I even have this one here. It really doesn't mean anything. And as you guys see, our enemy armor damage is 51%. We have no skill haze. Skill power really sucks. Our max health is 339,000. Our toughness is 501,000. All right, now that's that. All right, guys, now to get over to the talents. We're running support station immunizer. Why would you not run this? This is better than this heal right here. This at least gives you 30% of your health back. This fifty, this sixty-five thousand self heal mod it just sucks. You don't want to use overdose on these kind of builds, and you just use this to use. Sorry guys, you use this to help you out in fights. Cause a lot of people in this game, I don't know why they love shock turns. They think that makes their build better. It doesn't. It just gives you someone stationary to shoot at. It really doesn't help you that much. So guys, I just run with the immunizer, and up here, as you guys can see, we're running a scrambler pulse. It's called a conceal. That's what everybody else in the DZ call it. As you guys can see, it has 14.8 critical hit damage. That's not a lot, but that will help you out a lot. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Now, for our talents, we're going to be running on the move, precision, strike back, and critical save. As you guys can see, these are talents for solo play. I don't really know why you would use any team gadgets if you're not really playing with a team. This is kind of a solo build. 
because I don't have a lot of people to play with. But if you guys do want to play with me in any of my videos or be in any live streams, just add me on Xbox at Viral Frags. Sorry for getting off topic, guys. That is the build. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please like. And if you guys have something to say about the build video, all you got to do is comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Yeah. Yeah,